All right, so last time we saw that you actually do have to be very careful about how you choose the paths. Um, now we're going to choose an algorithm that will like to choose any path and be able to guarantee you'll get max load. So we're going to do it. Uh, this is going to be a, a recursive type of function. Um, we're going to uh, choose any path of the graph, modify the graph based on what path we chose, and repeat that process until there are no other paths to take. Okay. So uh, let's choose the example where we um, we take the bad path that breaks, uh, which will break this example that we used before. Yeah. So oops, sorry, I looped. So we're going to choose. We're going to choose this path here, okay. and we get 20, and we can fit 20 flow down, 20 flow up, and 20 across. And since 20 is the minimum along this path, that's the most we can, uh, we can flow across, across that path. Okay. So we have 20 so far. So what we're going to do is, the other one says, if you, pass, if you pass 20 along this edge, now you're going to add a back edge. By back edge, I mean if 20 traverses from A to T, now there's going to be an edge from T to A with weight 20 on it. Okay. And this edge. Oops. This edge used 20, so we subtract 20 from it, now it has 0 flow left. Okay? Same thing here. 20 passed from B to A, so now there's going to be an edge from A to B. Say 20. This edge, black edge, passed 20 going up, so now it's going to have 10 left on slope. Okay? Same thing for S. So B to S, the way 20. The black edge used 20, so it's 0 left on slope. So now we're going to delete all 0 edges like we did last time. Okay, so now we have uh, we have a new graph, right? So we have an edge from T to A with 20, A to B with 20, and uh, B to S with 20. Okay, so now we want to look for another path through the graph. Okay. So you'll notice the only other path is S to A, I can take 10, A to B, I can take 20, and B to T, I can take 10. So the minimum of that is 10. So we're going to add back edges, so B to T, so now a back edge with a 10, and it's black path. Took 10. Nope. Um, we get some little SA to 10. And now uh, I went A to B. Took 10. Okay. So A to B loses 10. 10 of them are used up. So let's check 10 from that value. And on the back edge, I add 10. Okay. Okay. So if that didn't make sense, remind it, watch it again, and think about it. Okay. I took 10 from A to B to subtract that weight from those edges, from that edge, and add it to the back edge. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is raise all the zero edges. So this edge is zero. This black edge is zero. Okay. So now I have two paths. Let me make one clear. I have two paths. Uh, I've used two paths, so a total of 30. Okay. And there's no possible other paths on S. So I know I'm done. Okay. So you can keep track of how much weight or the, the weight that the paths can handle as you go. Or what you can do is you draw a, we call it a cut edge. What we call an edge, or if we draw an edge here, or a circle around T, what we we'll do is add up, um, add up all the back edges, leaving T. Okay. So we have 20, and we have 10. Okay. And that adds up to 30, which is actually our max flow. So make sure that, uh, to get around having to choose, uh, to choose pass intelligently, make sure you use the back edges to ensure your max flow.